Hi, and welcome to this edition of Tech Clarity TV. My name's Jim Brown, president of Tech Clarity, where we make the business value of technology clear. Today, I would normally be at Siemens headquarters to get an update on the cloud and the transition that Siemens and their customers are making, uh, but we're being socially distanced because of the pandemic. So I'm gonna be joined remotely today by Bill Boswell. Uh, Bill is a vice president at Siemens Digital Industries Software, and we're gonna get a bit of a report card on the transition to the cloud. So let's get some clarity. So Bill, it's uh, it's great to talk to you today. Always good to uh, to share ideas and, uh, and and status with the industry with you. Um, you know, today we see so many companies looking for for cloud value, whether that be um, implementation value of being able to implement faster with lower risk or operational value to operate with uh, less, you know, less resources, but also some unique value for, you know, industrial software and, and some strategic value. Um, today, maybe one of the things people are more appreciative of is the, uh, the collaborative nature of the cloud and how easy it is to connect people. Um, you know, we're, we're connecting remotely uh, today and where normally we would be doing this in person and you know we're we're operating differently than we have in a while so um, you know that seems to be something that that I think people are really appreciating now and and I'm curious what you see as the biggest value that companies are appreciating about the cloud right now yeah I think you're absolutely right Jim I think the biggest value that we see of companies that have uh, you know already started to make that digitalization journey and that move into the cloud is, is that they have uh, more flexibility and more options now. So just like we're seeing in this kind of personal environment, right, where you're using video conferencing a lot more and, and other tools in the cloud that we, we may not have uh, used every day in our, in our daily lives, we're having the ability to do that um, is, is a, a big benefit. So with industrial software, right, the ability to be able to, uh, you know, do things like remote monitoring and, and predictive maintenance versus scheduled maintenance and being able to uh, have access to the tools that I've used um, on my desktop in the office, but from home uh, and using the cloud to be able to do that, I think makes a, a, a huge difference. And, and just having those options as a, as a company uh, to take the ability of the cloud to scale up and down that way is a, a huge benefit. Yeah. And I mean, we obviously saw this uh, this transition to the cloud, uh, you know, start well before the pandemic, and um, certainly has uh, you know probably prepared some people for it better than others. Um, you know, we believe that the work moving to the cloud that, that that shift is inevitable, whether it's companies refreshing their entire IT infrastructure or whether companies are moving, um, you know, uh, to to gain access to uh, some new piece of uh, functionality, uh, you know, industrial IoT or whatever it may be that uh, really requires the cloud. But also for strategic things, um, we see that over a third of companies uh, tell us that, uh, that digitalization is critical to achieving their business strategy. And actually over half say that it's at least important to achieving their overall business strategy. Um, Bill, what do you see as customers' priorities today? Well, when we talk to customers, Jim, we hear a lot of the, the same things. Um, you know, companies are, are are making their journey to the cloud starting at different points for different reasons. But um, you know, that ability to have someone like Siemens there uh, to have their back, right, with the expertise on on the cloud, with you know the experience of not just being a software vendor, but having the the industry domain knowledge ourselves from the industries that that we work in as a manufacturer. Um, you know makes a big difference because we can we can help them with not only the the mechanics of, of uh, you know the tools and the application but really the strategy for how to get their best um, and because we've been on that journey ourselves right uh, Siemens is, is now using the cloud uh, for everything and and that's been a big change in the last five or ten years and it's the technology from digital industry software that in the accelerator portfolio that's really helped them to make that change. Yeah, and 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 I think the change really is uh, really is accelerating, and and we definitely see a tremendous amount of progress towards the cloud. Um, you know, and you know, some work just inherently is uh, requires the cloud. Um, you know, IoT, for example, uh, industrial IoT, uh, some of the, the big data analytics. 
Um, some is just better on the cloud, but something like a generative design or simulation uh, because of uh, infinite computing. And, and then just sometimes it's just the general benefits of you know reduced costs, reduced resources, and, and lowering the barrier for solutions. Um, one of the things that we've seen as a, a bit of an inhibitor is uh, when we ask companies how much functionality, how much of the rich capabilities of their industrial software are they willing to trade for the benefits of the cloud, for those sort of generalized benefits of the cloud, what we see is that companies are willing to trade very little, if any at all, of the capabilities that they need to run their business in order to gain cloud benefits. Um, you know, given that, Bill, what, what, did you, what do you see as solutions and companies moving to the cloud? What's, what's the process? Yeah, I think that uh, that's a really good point, Jim. Uh, we don't think that companies should have to give up functionality to move to the cloud. Uh, typically, what we see is is that uh, whether it's through comprehensive digital twins or whether it's uh, moving to kind of a more personalized and adaptable and modern kind of approach to things, you know, companies are going to be want to want the functionality that they need to to support the use cases that they're doing today. So today. Uh, some of that software may be running on premise, connected to the cloud or managed by the cloud. Uh, some of those things may be uh, cloud ready and shifted into the cloud operations. And some may be native SaaS applications. Uh, and behind the scenes, right, the, the, the company that they're working with, like Siemens, uh, will be constantly evolving that software, right? So there's new SaaS applications that are tailored towards uh, you know, uh, more, more personalized workflows and, and more adaptable to that are happening every day. And what's running on premise today may be running in the cloud tomorrow, but the users may not even know that difference. So everybody's on a journey. Uh, and uh, you know, the idea is, is that you're able to be more productive and do more things in the cloud, not less. Yeah. And, and Bill, what's what's your what's your philosophy in terms of uh, how quickly companies need to move to the cloud? Yeah, I, I think that uh, when we talk to customers uh, all the time, we talk about one of the differences in in our approaches is that um, it's it's the customer's own pace. Uh, you know, it's their way, their pace. And with our expertise and our knowledge in the cloud, along with the technology and the applications uh, of the the solutions to get them there. Uh, we have the knowledge to help them on that journey, whether that's uh, you know a, a, a move of certain functionality to the cloud, or whether it's you know essentially looking at how are they going to do their their you know strategic uh, um, architecture for their company. We have uh, the ability to kind of bring in expertise to help them and technology to help get them there, or with our global partner ecosystem to, to bring in partners as well that uh, can help them on on all aspects of that journey. Right. Bill, thank you so much. It's always good to catch up with you and uh, really appreciate the, the opportunity to speak with you. Thanks, Jim. Stay healthy. You too. Thanks so much.